You are not listening to me. Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet help, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here, and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! It just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God, nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. 
I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. Oh, you're so tough, huh? <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. <sighs> so cute. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar.
Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. be another entrance to the basement around here.
sure it was them. And he got away. How do we know he didn't follow them? You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know, know that shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! Oh, no, we have to tell the others about what you did! Who's there? Show yourself! Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station, we got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! What'd you say? She... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so... You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Help! Why did you say that? I told you not to say it! Please be okay. Get away from her. Come on. I need it, Marlin. Step back. Okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about. Driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. Clouds. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. <laughs> Sit in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help.
I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? For me! Red! She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what did he want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? They would have abandoned you two! Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> All of you! Every fucking one of you! He's lying to you. He can't or won't protect you. Look what happened to Brody, to Sophie, Minerva. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. the head. <laughs> 